Pilsen is a Christian community founded in 1958, inspired originally by the Little Gidding community, a 17th century community made famous by T.S. Eliot's poem, Little Gidding. And just as the, at the first Little Gidding community, our life consists of prayer, simple manual work, and the welcome of a varied, wide variety of visitors. We work, uh, we run a small holding, uh, we keep cows, pigs, sheep, chickens, uh, two donkeys, uh, we run a wonderful vegetable garden, and uh, at any one time there'd be over 30 people um, sitting down to eat. People come for, a, yes, a huge variety of reasons. Perhaps they're coming to, because um, they're struggling with addiction, alcoholism, or former drug use. Perhaps they come because they're homeless. Perhaps they come because they've had a breakdown. Perhaps they're suffering from post-traumatic stress. Perhaps they just can't function on their own in this very stressful society so many people are living in. So Pilsden offers a place, yes, a peace a place of safety, a place of refuge, but a place too of a, a great beauty and new possibilities. Well, there's a wide variety of work here. It might be uh, looking after animals, looking after the pigs, the sheep. It might be milking cows. It might be working in our vegetable garden. It might be painting, decorating, uh, constructing a new building. It might be working in the kitchen because, of course, we've got 30 people uh, to feed each day. Uh, everybody who comes here, we ask to work. Um, but our work pattern isn't necessarily that stressful. We want everybody to be contribute as they're able. So for somebody, for example, it might take them three hours to peel a pan full of potatoes, but that doesn't matter uh, as long as they're making their contribution to the community. Uh, other people will work. Uh, long and hard hours. Uh, other people will get back into the pattern of work they've perhaps missed for, haven't been able to do for years. But work very much fosters a great sense of uh, belonging, being part of something, being needed. And that's so important for, uh, for all of us, isn't it? Yes, this year we're uh, launching f our 50th anniversary appeal and we've got a, a very exciting development project in mind. And the project will run in three phases. First of all is a self-build project, which uh, of course we're, making, we're building ourselves using some of the skills we have here and teaching new skills on it, which will provide uh, respite accommodation for, uh, for two people and also emergency accommodation for, uh, for women. The second part of the and major part of the development will be development of 16 uh, new uh, single units of accommodation. At present, people either share bedrooms or live in converted stables. Uh, we're wanting to provide a, a much uh, better kind of a living environment for people in which people can really flourish and, and grow and develop. Built into that, the project, of course, is is more training and uh, equipping people with, with skills for when they leave here. And the third phase of our project is the development of our, uh, what we call our loose boxes, our former stables, which we're turning into accommodation for our wayfarers. That's uh, homeless people who come here, who we, uh, we welcome anybody who turns up at our doors and uh, will offer two, three nights for people who are homeless. So, we're very much improving their accommodation. At the moment, they, they live in a seven-bedroom dormitory. They'll each get their own um, little separate single unit of accommodation. We're hoping to incorporate lots of uh, green technology and energy, uh, build lots of energy saving into our building development. For example, we're going to have uh, wood-fired uh, boilers. We're going to have a ground source heating system. We're looking at uh, uh, putting in a reed bed, uh, rainwater harvesting, high levels of insulation, because we want uh, the project to be sustainable for the uh, years to come. Well, I'd, I've been at Pilsen 12 years now, and what I love about Pilsen is the fact is the inclusion of everything, inclusion of the people, the animals, the landscape. 
how they all kind of fit together. We have straw bales in our church, and in that way the farm somehow comes into the church, and the church goes out into the farm. It's a wonderful place of acceptance, and perhaps because of that it's a, it's a very healing place to be. And yeah, that's why I love it.